All right, what's up guys? I wanna share with you guys something that I think every single entrepreneur overlooks, especially newer entrepreneurs who just start getting money. Maybe you're making five, 10, 15, $20,000 a month in profit and you think that you know, you're making millions now. You're on top of the world, you know, 50 cents, 75 cents, that ain't shit to you and you get it from the teller or you go buy, I just bought a donut and a water. And you know, when I get it, sometimes I'll, mistakenly throw it in the change jar or the tip jar instead of saving it. And I'm not saying don't make donations. I just made a donation today um, for you know some charity or something that was like just rounded up when I bought something that like, you wanna donate the extra 60 cents to a donation. And I said, sure, no problem. But you know, for years I used to, um, you know, if I get change, I'll throw it in my pocket, throw it in my car and then let the little, uh, this little, I think this is like the cigarette part of my car. Let me see. I don't know if you guys have this in your car. Let me see if I can pull it out. Anyway, it's like this thing right here. I put the change in there. But, I mean, how much change can you really put in there? But if you stack it up and just let the change almost set it and forget it, you'll be amazed how much money you can actually stack up. I mean, if somebody sees a $100 bill, of the ground they'll jump on it but if they see a penny they'll walk right past it. and i'm not saying be so frugal that you're scared to spend money but man save your change you literally don't know the power of this when i was a 18 for my first job i found a big five gallon jug at my job i worked at a food store so i found the jug outside I actually like used to do maintenance and push the carts and stuff like that outside the food store or you know grocery store whatever you want to call it and I started putting all my change in there and I literally didn't even cover the bottom of the five gallon jug, it was huge. And when I remember when I cashed it in right before I left for university, I had like almost $100. And if you go on uh, YouTube and you type in five gallon jug filled with coins, people end up filling the whole thing up. It takes them years and years and years and they have tens of thousands of dollars in change. And who knows, you could put that down on a car, on an investment, on a piece of property, on a business model. You can literally take money that you would have otherwise either you know threw on your desk, threw in your pockets, threw over your car and just stack it, man. And so um, I'm not saying I'm not going to be making donations anymore because I do like being, you know, do do charity and giving back. But at the same time, I'm going to be conscious with what I do with my change. If I get 50 cents, I'm going to put it in here. If I get a dollar, I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to, you know, kind of start to stack my money more because you might think, oh, I'm making 5, 10, 13, 1500, all this money per month. But I'm telling you, man, you're going to be surprised when you know you make thirty thousand dollars a month and you look in your bank account and you under you want to know where it went or what all happened to it or worst case scenario you come back then i'm telling you i don't care how much you're making man if you're at a point right now where it's going good be grateful stay consistent work hard but know that you could always at any moment fall back down and be literally where you were ground zero day one with nothing and you know who knows you might have to cash that you know jar of coins in you got four or five thousand you got a safety net and plus maybe you won't come down hope you don't come down but you can make you can have some real money stacked up in here man so don't be a fool man don't just throw your change in the garbage don't throw it all into the tip tip jar um save it stack it and you know watch in a few years the payoff that you could make of it let me know what you guys think see you guys later peace